Fellas, I am an idiot. Ninjago's been going on for over 10 years now, and during that time, there have been tons of sets that I've missed out on because I'm stupid. So today, I'm going to be talking about my biggest Ninjago regrets ever. Alright, so the first set on this list is the Temple of Ejitsu from 2015, which retailed for $200. This set is just, oh my god, it's just, it's just incredible. Not only do you get each of the ninja in their season 5 uniform, but you also get Dara, Masako, Sensei Wu, and... The mailman. I mean, boys, look, I don't like men or anything, but fellas, just look at him. And the build of this set is just absolutely <laughs> incredible. I mean, look at look at the interior. Look, the sucker, she, she's holding bread and there's, there's a chicken. Look, Jay's having an affair with another woman and cheating on Mia. I need that in my life. And boys, it even comes with exclusive material, which I hope isn't what I think it is. So why didn't I get this set, I hear you ask? Well, boys, back in 2015, I, um, I, I have some some breaking news. I had my Dark Age. I, I didn't like Ninjago. Now, even if I had still been collecting Ninjago in 2015, this set still remains $200. That's quite a lot of money. Now, if I wanted to get this set now on the second-hand market, let's, let's see how expensive it is. All right, so on eBay, let's have a look at some of the prices. Now, it's about $400 for it sealed. All right, so the average price for it used is about 170 to 200 pounds. The economy, am I, am I right? My kidney, I will miss you. Sold on eBay, Temple of Ejitsu. I miss you, I'm sorry. My kidney. Please, please subscribe. All right, next up on the list is actually two sets, which are the Bricktober packs. All right, so the first Ninjago Bricktober pack came out in 2017 and retailed for $20. And was, of course, a Toys R Us exclusive. The minifigures in this set are just absolutely mind-blowing. We have a white Ninjroid, Neuro, Young Crux, and Golden Power Kai. That Neuro minifigure is literally the only reason that I would have bought this, and I, I don't know why I didn't. I saw it in Toys R Us back in the day, like, right before it closed down, and I had it in my hands, but I thought, I'm gonna go and buy a, a Lego Star Wars set. <laughs> I hate myself. Now let's have a look at how much Nero costs on Bricklink. And there's only two listings for him on Bricklink, which are both from France, so I'm either gonna get Nero or a, a baguette. That was a joke. How about eBay? Surely he, he's gotta be on eBay for a decent price. 63 pounds! <laughs> What the hell is wrong with me? Why, why is he so expensive? But after this one retired, I thought, oh, that's fine, because I'll just get the one next year. No, I won't, because I'm not Canadian. Lego thought that it would be really bloody clever to make the next Bricktober pack also a Toys R Us exclusive. By that time, Toys R Us was five feet underground in the UK and America, because... Ugh. Again, I just want Kabuki Nia. Is that too much to ask? I don't think it is. Now on Bricklink, Kabuki Nia is reasonably inexpensive, but the issue is that there is no UK listings. They're all from, like, Europe. I hate Europe. I have to, like, pay shipping. I, I hate shipping. Boats suck. So the next set is the Samurai Man. This set came out in 2012 and retailed for $40. I just absolutely love this set. I mean, the scaling on it is just absolutely incredible, and since 2012, 12, we have never really got a mech scale quite like this one. I just absolutely love the aesthetic of this set, and more than anything else, I'm just so nostalgic for it. And once again, I remember in 2012 putting this set into my cart at Toys R Us, but again, Toys R Us just hate me, so they made me take it out of the basket and put it back and get another Lego Star Wars set. Look at this crap, who cares about that? Oh no, this minifigure is very expensive. Now, if I wanted to get this set brand new off of eBay, for example, I'd be looking at around 100 to 150 pounds. Quite a big increase in price. Now, from Bricklink, you can get it for about 90 pounds brand new, and used, you can get it for about 30 to 40 pounds, which isn't terrible, but why didn't I buy it? <laughs> I genuinely really, really wanted this set back in 2012. I had the chance to get it so many times, but I'm just an idiot. Now, look, I know what you're probably thinking. Well, you can get the Ninjago Legacy one, but come on, this is terrible. I, I would give my soul to own this set. And the next set on this list is the Battle for Ninjago, which came out in 2014 and retailed for $120. This set is honestly just incredible. It's one of my all-time favorite Ninjago sets. One set that's very similar to this is the Fire Temple up there from 2011. But I mean, come on, this is, this is just great. Not only does the building look absolutely phenomenal, but it's also got some fantastic play features inside. It also includes the 
Overlord's Mech, which is just so, so goddamn cool. So why didn't I buy this set? Well, back in 2014, there was a little thing called Chima. Once more, I would like to reiterate that I am an idiot. I was out buying Chima sets. Sue me. No, seriously, please sue me. I need to pay my tax. And back in 2014, when I was a child, do you seriously think that I knew how to wield a knife or hold a cashier at gunpoint? No. Now on Bricklink, you can get this set brand new for about 150 to 60 pounds. Now in the UK, this set actually retailed for 90 pounds. So that's like, that's quite a big increase. I seriously bought this crap over Battle of Ninjago City. I deserve to be executed. And the last set on this list is the Lightning Dragon Battle. This set came out in 2011 with four minifigures and retailed for $80. This set is just absolutely insane. I don't care what anybody says, but I'd marry this. Now, one of the more interesting things about this set is the fact that it's a bit of a bigger scale when compared to the other Ninjago Dragons from 2011. It kind of has, like, a bigger back, and where the other Ninjago Dragons would have the minifigures sit on, like, the actual back of the dragon, on this one, for some reason, they sit on the neck. As well as that, the skeleton helicopter is just absolutely incredible. If I'm being completely honest, I'm slightly happy that I didn't end up getting this set because let me just show you what my Ninjago dragons are looking like now. This right here is all that's left of the fire dragon from 2011. It's like depression in a bag. Now the main reason I regret not getting this set isn't because I think it's a fantastic set and that I'd like to get it, but it's incredibly expensive now. Alright, so on Bricklink there's actually only six listings available and the one from the US is £230, which which is 320 US dollars. Now, fellas, I don't know anything about the economy, but that looks like inflation. I could have been to college if I'd bought this set, but now I've got a tumor growing inside my head. The lightning battle dragon could have paid for that too, but now I'm homeless. Just a quick reminder that if this video hits 1,000 likes, then I'll buy one of the sets on this list. You should also join my Discord server where we share some leaked images of Ninjago sets, like this season 15 set, and Kai, he, he has a gun. There's also just some incredible fan art. It also turns out that you're not subscribed, and, you know, I'm gonna go and get my knife. It also turns out that you're probably not subscribed, so... You, you should you should do that. I could have been to college if I'd bought this set. But now I've got a tumor growing inside my head. The lightning battle dragon could have paid for that too. But now I'm homeless. <laughs>